Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in the Mercedes C63S wagon and next to me is a BMW M3 Touring. Wait a minute, an F81 M3? He didn't make one! More on that in a moment. Let me tell you about this car first. So this has a four litre twin turbo V8 with 510 horsepower and 700 Newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels via a nine speed automatic gearbox with launch control, weighs in at about 1700 kilos and costs 70,000 pounds. That BMW, it's owned by a chap called Nick who runs a breaker's yard and he got a BMW F81 320D Touring. Took the body of that, then he found an F80 M3 which he was braking and he took every single part off that M3, so the wiring harnesses, the engine of course, the gearbox which is a seven speed dual clutch automatic with launch control, suspension, dampers, wheel hubs, wheel carriers, all that kind of stuff and shoved them into that touring and then he changed the body panels as well so it had the full M3 presence to create that monster there. He then gave it an Evolve Stage 2 tune, so new downpipes, an ECU remap, and so that three litre straight six twin turbo engine is putting out 540 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque. In terms of weight, a bit lighter than this one but not by that much, about 1600 kilos. I'm just guessing really never made one of them did they so i don't know for sure it's gonna be interesting to see what happens those things aren't great at launching the launch control system in them can be a bit temperamental but you don't care about that what you want to know is the price nick says that he put about 50 grand into that car all in with the 320d and the broken m3 however he says that you could probably do it a bit cheaper nowadays because parts are a bit less expensive on those cars maybe do one for about 30 grand anyway before we go on with the race please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload also why don't you follow me on instagram and my watson cars let's go on with the race then buying a new car head to carwow to get offers from the uk's top dealers carwow.co.uk the car buying comparison site now before we race we're going to do two things the first is a sound check which are these two cars sounds the best? The V8 in this, or the straight six in that? Soft limit on the engine there when it's stationary. Go on, Nick, rev up your car. <laughs> Let me know which you think sounded the best in the comments below, but me, I'm going for that BMW. Nick, have you had anything done to that exhaust? Because it doesn't sound like it's a stock exhaust. Yeah, I've got damp pipes, haven't I? So minus the first cats. Nick, you sound like you're from the same part of the country that I'm from. Where do you come from, mate? I reside near Walsall at the moment. Well, do you know what? That's where I'm from. He sounds like me from back in the day before I went to London and learned how to talk like this. How do you do? I'm from London. Oh yes. Anyway, we need to warm up these tyres because these cars are rear wheel drive. They'll struggle for traction away from the line if their tyres are cold. So I've just got to do the right thing and do some donating in this. <laughs> to launch this less so how was that i've just broke one of my paddles i was holding the steering wheel with my knee and it's caught a paddle <laughs> well that's what we're like from warsaw you see do weird things <laughs> okay nick so this time mdm mode no launch control just hold on the brake and steer with your hands not your knee got it really well. I actually got decent traction. Oh, I think he might be pulling me back. Clear win for this. This is just going to launch better than that every single time. Those BMW F80 just don't launch that great. The launch control systems are temperamental, they spin up their wheels, they're a bit of a handful, but once they're going, they are quick. 
So then, what exactly happened? Well, the AMG did the standing quarter mile in 12.3 seconds, while the bespoke BMW took 12.7 seconds. We're going to do a rolling race, automatic mode, comfort mode, and I'm going to count it in from 50 miles an hour. Come on then, get level, Nick. Here we go. So, three, two, one, go. Lord, eh? About the same, kick down wise. Always oh, going now, though. Oh, look at him. I think he's got the better of me. There we go, Nick. Are you a bit happier about that? Yeah. Kickdown was about the same on both cars. Took a wee while. I mean, I've got nine gears in this car. You've got seven, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah. So mine had to do a little bit more maths than yours. We found the right gear and we both took off, but I think yours pulling a little bit harder than my car. As long as you don't need to launch, those BMWs are pretty decent, aren't they? Okay, let's do it again, but this time put your car into its sportiest setting and you're gonna go manual on the gearbox, so you're gonna have to change gears yourself. Yeah, it could all go very wrong for you. Three, two, one, go. Oh, picks up really good. The hot V reduces lag. F81 is just pulling and pulling and pulling. He has had it tuned though, hasn't he? Stage two, evolved tune. And that's the result. 550 horsepower. That's enough, 155. You can break hard now. Come back, Nick. Come on. Come back, mate. Last challenge. Break test time. Just get level with me. We'll do it from about 70 miles an hour. When you hit that line, full emergency stop. Here comes the line. Oh, oh no! Oh, I don't know. It's so close. What do you reckon, Nick? I reckon I might have just beat you on that. What about an inch? Well, an extra inch is often all you need to win at this game, and it looks like I have an extra inch over you. It's my fair heard. <laughs> so it looks like, in the end, it was two wins to the Mercedes and one win for the BMW. Because BMWs, they don't launch or brake that well. In fact, what do you think of the brakes on your car? Actually, very surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, it's so close, really. This car is a little bit heavier. I like the look of your car a bit more than this one. Do you? Biased, I? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. In fact, do you think BMW should have built an F81 M3 Touring? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, if you want to see how much money you can save on a BMW M3, the normal one, click on the pop-out banner up there to go to CarWow. And why don't you follow us on Instagram, at CarWow Cars. And the last bit of promotion I need to do is to tell you about our latest merch. So if you look in the carousel, Below the video, you can see all our range of t-shirts and hoodies with different designs on them. And maybe buy one or two. Support CarWow. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Yeah, when I've had a drink, it soon slips and I talk like that again. And my mates here watching from back home in Warsaw. How you doing, guys? You all right? Yeah, you can take the boy out of Warsaw, but you can't take Warsaw out the boy.